Painting every color for you Just to show you Tim, and more breaking news on Detroit's east side tonight where two people have been shot and killed. So let's get to Mara McDonald on the scene. Mara. Kimberly and Devin, we actually have two scenes out here. Take a look behind me. This is St. Aubin Street. This is one portion of this crime scene. And then you walk into the MLK apartment complex here, and that is where the other scene is. So according to neighbors, let me tell you what they say happened out here. There is a nearby liquor store. There was apparently a fight at this liquor store that turned into groups of people running through this apartment complex and into St. Aubin. One person was shot and killed between the apartment buildings in the MLK complex. Another person was shot in the middle of St. Aubin, but was not dead on the scene. So police and EMS transported that person to the hospital where they later died. So Detroit police telling us they've got a double fatality out here and they are looking for suspects. We are on Detroit's near east side. I'm Mara McDonald. On December the 15th, um, my son Marquis Smith was gunned down in the King Homes. We don't know who did this, okay? And people have been less than forthcoming with the truth. I'm going to say that. So I want to bring attention to this case because I reached out to the reporter who reported on the initial case on the 16th at the wee hours of the morning to let her know that I was the mother of the individual who had passed on the side of the townhomes at the King Homes. That I wanted to speak to somebody. I wanted to draw attention to this case. Marquise Quentin Smith. Say his name. He was murdered. He was shot multiple times and all of those who have any indication of what the heck was going on are not being talked to. Oh, but they, they talking. Everybody got something to say. Except my baby. He can't say nothing. So I wanted to come out here to bring attention to this particular incident. Marquise Quentin Smith, Tehran William Flowers, they were killed in the King Homes down there downtown at the Martin Luther King Homes of Detroit, Michigan at some hour between the 7 o'clock hour and 8 o'clock hour because y'all this thing is deep. I still don't know. Because it's not the guns that's killing people. It's people that's killing people. These are our own people who have killed my baby. Over what? I still don't know. I tell you what I do know. Everybody lying. Here it is a new year. He didn't get to celebrate his birthday. I had to have his homegoing service on his birthday. But this happened on December the 15th, as I stated, somewhere between the 7 o'clock hour or beyond. I, <laughs> you guys, I wish I had information. I'm still trying to get information. I'm still trying to talk to someone who can tell me what happened to my son. Let me tell y'all something. It's not the guns that's killing people. It's people who killing people. And there's people who not doing nothing about it. So I'm just asking that if you know something, you say something. Who took these men's life? Who took my son's life? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I post either at the bottom or at the top, wherever I already know. Pray for my family. Um, that you go light a candle for my son at the gunmemorial.org. Marquise Quentin Smith. Painting every color for you, every color. just to show you.